I don't know if a lot of people connect that MS is an autoimmune condition. Can you explain exactly sure. what it does and what your body is doing to itself? Well, uh, what we uh, see happening is that there are these acute inflammatory lesions uh, and there's evidence of the immune cells attacking the myelin, which is the uh, uh, wiring, the insulation on the wiring between brain cells. Uh, we have now also have come to learn that there's uh, breaks in the axon, breaks in that wiring uh, as well. And that over time, the brain shrinks uh, and the spinal cord shrinks, uh, and, uh, and that's what we think is the uh, uh, disability function, uh, why people uh, convert from relapse remitting to secondary progressive, and why at that point you, you tend to see this degenerative disease, this progressive uh, march of disability. You, you know, in your experience, what do, what's the conventional treatment do? Is it, is it, is well, it, it does. The, the early research was really focused on blocking inflammation, okay. uh, and they have a variety of drugs that are really very effective at turning off that inflammation. Uh, and the theory is if we could turn off the inflammation, then maybe we could also turn off the degeneration uh, and the atrophy. Uh, and the answer uh, we don't really know yet. Uh, but certainly, inflammation is very, very destructive. And they do have drugs that can turn that off. Um, but because we also need our immune cells to maintain and repair, uh, we're not going to, we, uh, my perspective is we're going to accelerate aging. You'll still have other autoimmune conditions uh, come up. And I think you'll still, because you haven't addressed the root cause of what caused that inflammation, the root cause of the mitochondrial dysfunction, that you'll still see the atrophy uh, and the disability. Uh, we don't have long enough studies to know.